Hey guys, I want to share a few handmade fabric flowers that I made. Um, this is my first attempt at making these fabric flowers. I've made paper flowers before, but this is the first try for making fabric flowers. So here's the first one. And I just have some pearl bead spray coming out on the side. And I did this um, rose, this ribbon rose in the middle using two different ribbons. One is like a sheer kind of cream and gold ribbon and the other is a dark, I mean a, a black silk ribbon. So I just used those two together and made a rose. And for this, the actual flower itself, I didn't make that. That was um, already made and I just cut it off the branch. And I know I told you I made, these are all handmade flowers that I made, but um, this is the only thing out of all the flowers that I made that I did not make myself. Okay, so here's the first flower. Okay, and here's the second one. This one turned out okay. I mean, I like the technique. Um, I learned how to do this from Jules, and her channel is, um, is spelled J-A-N-N-I-V-I-L-E-S. I think you say Janaviles. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But she shows us how to make this type of flower with the petals that kind of look like that. But it turned out okay. I mean, I think the thing that messed it up was like the lace trim that I used around it. I don't like the way it, it didn't turn out even and everything, but it's okay. Here's this flower right here. And here's this one. I really like the way this, the way this one turned out. It turned out really, really cute. And there's so many tutorials on YouTube on how to make this kind of petal. I did a little rolled um, fabric rose in the middle there and I have some black tulle. And this is a little button with the pearl bead center and a little pretty black leaf to come out the side. So there's that flower. Okay, and this one's not a flower, obviously, but it's a butterfly. I think it turned out pretty cute. I made the wings using the same technique um, to make the petals from this flower, right there, to make the wings, and you can see it better if I pull the, the white fabric back, but I decided to put this... Um, in the middle, this kind of lace, not lace, um, uh, I don't know what it's called. My mind goes blank, but I don't know, my mind always goes blank when I'm doing videos. I can't think of anything, and I sound like I'm stupid, like I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing, but yeah, okay, I used some wires to make the antenna, and I just strung some of the pearl beads in there. Okay, and I made these three roses here, and that's basically it. Here's that butterfly. I just made the butterfly to go with the, the kind of black and white theme for all these flowers right here. Okay, and here is the flower for the gold kind of theme, the gold and white theme. So this is some ribbon right here. and. You can see the design better in the inside, like that. Okay, there's just some ribbon that I did a straight stitch through the middle. I know some really th wide ribbon, that's why I can do that, and I just fold it in half, basically. Just to make it have more um, dimension, a lot more ruffles, and so the flower itself can be more thick. Okay, and I just have some tool on the inside right here that's around this button in the middle, the pearl bead center. These are just some sprigs coming out the side. Okay. So that's that flower. And this one I really like. This one's really, really neat. Um, I just took different sizes of 
um, I have this gold fabric that looks like this and I just cut out flower shapes in different sizes like one large going down to small and I burnt the edges around the petal to kind of form the petal shape. That's basically what that is and this right here was a button right here or it is a button right here in the center but I took the technique of making a rose and I just went around the button. Because I put the button in the middle to begin with and it didn't look that great. It needed something something to add to it. It needs more volume or something in the middle. So I did that. It turned out really nice. I just have some proby spray coming out the side. So here's this flower right here. Okay, and this one turned out really pretty. And this gold fabric right here um, is the same one that I used to make this flower right here. Okay, and I just have some, um, this white right here, this second layer, um, was a really big daisy with like so many petals. You can see how many petals are in the daisy. But I just took the petals and I folded them in half and I glued them to the back. So it kind of makes a circular shape and it just adds more more to the flower. I just needed something really quick to add something extra to the the flower that I was making. Okay, and here is just some Christmas garland that I just hot glued in there just to make it come out the side of the flower and I have some feathers coming out the side as well. There's like I think three feathers in there. And here's just another button in the middle. Okay, so that's this flower. Okay, and here's the last one. You see, this is the technique that I was talking about, that Jules, um, that she did. And this was a flower that didn't turn out right, the first one that I showed you like this. It didn't turn out right, it doesn't look that good. But these look really, really pretty. They're all like really poofy and dimensional, you can see that. And they do kind of like fray but I think it adds to the flower. So it's really pretty. I just have some pearl bead spray um, coming out from the sides of both flowers. And just a little button in the middle and on top of the buttons I put this the um, acrylic gems on top. Okay so that's it for my flowers and I hope you guys like what I've created and please leave a comment.